Insights, where we bring you all the latest Bruin sports news. I'm Zach Gilchrist. And I'm Sarah Scannell. Let's start with men's basketball. Last Saturday, Belmont beat Eastern Kentucky 72-59. Senior Evan Brad hit a game high of 22 points for the Bruins. Brad went 9 for 13 from the field and 4 for 4 from the free throw line. Also, be sure to tune in on Saturday, January 21st, as Belmont takes on Tennessee Tech at the Curb Event Center. Tip-off is at 11 a.m. You can also watch the game on the American Sports Network or tune in to 104.5 The Zone for a live radio broadcast. Now on to women's basketball. Belmont came away with a slim victory at Jacksonville State Wednesday, defeating the Gamecocks 54-53. Kylie Smith led with 16 points and 7 rebounds, and Darby Maggard led with 5 assists. The dramatic game came down to a crucial fourth quarter, where the Bruins outscored Jacksonville 15-9. This is their ninth straight victory and their 22nd win in their last 23 OVC games. The women return to the court on Saturday to face Tennessee Tech. Tip-off is at 1 p.m. in the Curb Event Center, immediately following the men's game. On to men's track and field. Belmont men's track had a strong finish at the Commodore Invitational Saturday. Junior Nathan Nemour broke the Belmont University indoor record in the 400 meters previously held by freshman Ryan Teague. Later, Teague retook his record with a time of 48.96 seconds. Both runners finished in the top 15 for the 400 meters. Caleb McLeod also had a very strong performance in the 300 meter race with a time of eight minutes and 28.58 seconds. Moving over to field events, the Bruins performed five top 20 performances led by senior Del McSpadden's ninth place finish in the weight throw. Now on the women's track and field. Belmont women also had a strong fin finish at the Commodore Invitational this weekend. Junior Kiara Weems recorded her personal best mile time with 5 minutes and 5.85 seconds, and junior Jessica King had a strong finish with 5 minutes and 9.17 seconds. Thank you for watching Bruin Blitz. Be sure to tune in next week for more Belmont sports coverage. See ya.